If you want to convert your 3D AutoCAD drawing into 2D, then I have three easy methods for you in this video. So without any delay, let's start with the first method. All right, so here we have the 3D model and the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'll convert it into 2D directly in the model space. And for that, I'll use the flat shot tool. Now the flat shot tool is available in the section panel. So if you expand it, you're going to see it right here. So you can use it from here or you can use its command flat shot. Now for this to work, you need to ensure that you are in 3D modeling workspace. So if you are not, then switch to 3D modeling from this gear icon. So go to this and select 3D modeling. Okay, now that we are in 3D modeling, let's go to this top view. And here I'll start by making the top 2D profile. But before I do that, I'll right click on view cube and I'll make it parallel because it was not parallel. Now it is. So this is how it's going to generate it. So I'll go to section, flat shot, and now we have the flat shot window. In this case, we have three options for destination. I'll select insert as new block. Basically, it will insert the 2D view as a block in this current drawing. Now for the foreground color, which is the boundary colors of this drawing, you can choose a color and a line type. I leave the defaults and for the obscured line, I will change its color. So for the color, I'll select maybe cyan and for line type, let's make it hidden. Now, if you don't see hidden line type, go to other, select load and load the line type that you want in this list. All right, with hidden selected, I'll now click on create and I'll just click at a point to place it. So maybe I'll just place it right here. Now for the scale factor, I'll use one. So I'll press enter for the Y scale factor again, enter and rotation angle is zero. So again, enter. So I'll press enter three times. And this is the view that we get. Here it is. So select this and I'll move it right here. Now our base point was quite far and that's because of the origin. As you can see, origin is right here. So it always uses the origin as base point. So I'll just move it right about here. And now you can see we have the 2D profile here. Now let's say we want to make the 2D profile for this one. Now for that, again, we'll repeat the flat shot. So I'll go to flat shot. I'll select the same options, create. And now I'll maybe click here and then press enter, enter, enter three times and we are done. Double click your middle mouse wheel and you have this. It may look like a line, but go to top and you can see it. So here is the front view. All right, let's move it again, maybe here. All right, so that's how you can create as many views as you like. You can even go to isometric and create an isometric view using the same option and it will create that also on the top plane. All right, now let's look at the second method. Before that, I'll delete these views. Now, before I move any further, I want to share our completely free 2D and 3D practice drawing ebook. Now, this ebook contains more than 100 2D and 3D drawings that you can make all by yourself to practice your AutoCAD skill. Now, this ebook was once available for a price tag on Amazon and I made it free for the CAD community now. So it's available for no cost. The ebook has been revised three times and there are minimal dimensional errors and it's still updated quite constantly. So get the ebook absolutely for free using the link in the description of this video and also in the first pinned comment. Now back to the video. The second method will need the use of layout. So I'll go to layout tab and then here also I'll switch to layout. Now whatever the page size is, if you want to change it, you can, but I'll leave the default page size and with that I'll go to create view, I'll go to base and I'll select from model space. Now immediately it will show this kind of 2D view, just click and that's your primary view. Now press enter and move up and you'll get the view from top. Move to the right, you get the view from right side. Move to the bottom, left and here we have the isometric. Now it depends on your current drafting settings which is first angle or third angle projection. So based on that, the view might look different. So if you are using first angle projection, then the view on the top will be of the bottom. View on the right will be the view of left and so on. And for third angle projection, the view on left will be the one from left side, right view will be from the right side, top will be from top, bottom will be from bottom. If you want to know more about the first angle and third angle projection, here is a video that will help you. So with that, once you are done, press enter and here we have the views. Now in this case, I do want to make some changes. We can see the obscured line here, but for the isometric view, I want to make some changes. The first is this, I'll move it here and now I'll change its visual style to shaded. So select the view, go to edit view and here hidden lines is there, select shaded with visible lines, click OK and done. 
Also, you can move these views if you want, but it will remain locked with the main view. You cannot move it up and down, though you can if you want to, you can unlock it, but I'll leave it like this for this example. Once again, if you want to know more about how to make these views, how to make a proper title block right around this, and how to in general work with 3D drawings and prepare the final manufacturing drawings, then here is a course that will help you with that. It explains everything about AutoCAD right from scratch, including adding annotations, making section view here, creating 3D photo realistic 3D models, and quite a lot more. Now, let's look at the third method, which is the most unconventional method. So for that, I'll go to layout two. And this one also involves the use of layout tab, but in a slightly different way. Now, if I switch to model view, you'll notice that we only have this 3D drawing and nothing else. I deleted already all the 2D sketches that we got it from the first example. So here I'll go to layout and I'll start by making some viewports. Basically, I'll just make two viewports. So here's the first one and here is the second one. So we've got these two. I'll double click this and here's the drawing. Let's just zoom in and let's just bring it into view. There it is. I'll double click here and then I'll select zoom extends to bring it in the view. Now let's say we want to create the top and the front view. For that, I'll double click here. I'll just go to top. There we are. And also here I'll right click and select parallel. Then I'll double click here and here let's change that to front. Again, right click on the view cube and select parallel. So we have these two views that we want to create. So I'll first start with this viewport. I'll activate this and then I'll use the command S O L P R O F. Now this command is kind of like flat shot, but rather than making everything on X, Y or the top plane, it will create the view right where it should be made. For example, in this case, we have top plane activated, so it will create on top. Here we have the front, so it will create this view on the front plane and so on. So here I'll just use the solve prof command, press enter, and then I'll select this view. Press enter again, and now we have some options that we can select. For example, display hidden profile lines on separate layer. If you want to, you can select yes. I'll just select yes for now. Project profile lines onto a plane, well, yes. All right, and delete tangential edges. Do you want to delete the tangential edges? Well, tangential edges are edges like this. So this one is actually not a line, it's the tangent because as you can see, if you look at this drawing from a different perspective, you can see what we have here. We have this kind of rounded corner and that's creating this kind of illusion of a line. That's tangential edge. So if you have several edges, do you want to delete it? You can select yes here. We do just to keep the drawing clean. There we are. So it just created this exact 2D sketch, which is not visible from this view, but you can see it here. Again, it will become clear in a moment. First, let's create one more view. So I'll just go to this view and here I'll use the same command, solve prof, enter, select this drawing, enter, and then enter, 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 just to accept the default values. And we now have a 2D sketch if you can see it here. So that 2D sketch is visible here as a line. Now you can see the result in model space. So if I go to model space, you can see that we have these two views created and these two views are created on their respective plane. So rather than using flat shot to create everything on top, you can use solve prof command to just make the views right where it should be. And if you want to move it, you can select the view, use this gizmo to just move it up. And here also you can select this and move this gizmo to just move it out. Just in case you want to rotate this, you can do that as well. So select and go to this rotate gizmo and maybe using this red axis, I'll just rotate it like this. All right, if you want to hide this, just hide it using isolate, hide object, and we have the 2D drawings. It looks like we added this artifact or we missed it from this. So I'll just delete it and here is our drawing, the two views that we created. So those were the three methods that you can use to convert your AutoCAD 3D drawing into 2D. Now let me know which method you found most convenient in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to get your copy of our AutoCAD practice drawing ebook, which contains more than 100 2D and 3D practice drawing with complete dimensions and all its details. It's free and you can get it using the link in the description of this video and also in the first pinned comment. Also, let me know which topic you want to see in the next video and I'll see you soon in the next one.